Basic Gang, how are we today? I hope you guys are doing awesome. I am on a little baby road trip up north and I get bored alone, so I'm taking you with me. Enjoy that. I actually have to stop by an office complex quick to get some new chairs and a sign to go over some bar before I head up north. And I have to go up north to the Brainerd area to put in some hydro sweeps. I need to do some other chores around that area at a couple of cabins. And because it's gonna take a while and I have to drive a couple hours, I want you to come with. You guys can see the beauty up north, you can see a couple of hydro sweeps go in, and you can just give me some entertainment along the way. So with that, I probably am going to talk to you next when I stop at the rest stop in a couple of hours. But until then, enjoy this montage of driving. in we have made it two hours I'm at the rest stop I'm taking a little walk need to stretch the old legs a little bit it was getting sore in the car but we're almost there so I live in the Twin Cities or outskirts of the Twin Cities and we're going up north past Brainerd so it's about a three hour -ish drive and I had to pick up from the office some new hunting chairs three of them for one of my clients and a Corona beer uh, sign that they're gonna put up at their bar at their cabin so we're making good progress we're almost out to the cabin and I'll see you at the cabin in a quick moment hey guys we made it look at this we're up at the cabin now all the stuff is delivered perfect we are also ready to move forward with installing the hydro sweeps and they have a lot of hydro sweeps to put in. Would you look at that? Four beautiful hydro sweeps that are gonna go in on their dock. That excites me because that means they're gonna have a beautiful lakefront this year. It makes me excited. I, I just like making people happy and improving their summer. So we're here, we have some hydro sweeps to install. It's gonna be a lot of work. Let's get to it. Oh, the camera was rolling. I'm so sorry. I'm just here at my office today. Do you like my office? 
Are you a fan? I mean, I only had to drive two and a half hours, three hours to get here. And yes, I need to drive another three hours to get home from my office. But it's a pretty cool office, right? Anyways, reason why I actually came up here. Hydro sweeps. Here we go. Let's see how they work. All right, here are the hydro sweeps. You can see I have them lying in the dock. And big thing with these hydro sweeps that I haven't explained to you guys before, no dredging. So you can't actually sit there and dig holes. So you see how angled that is? It's just kind of skimming across the surface. Yeah, that's what you need to do to do it legally. But you can see it's pretty beautiful in here. Look at how sandy that is and gorgeous. You can see these are all doing their jobs. I love when we put out a good product and hydro sweeps are a great product. All our clients get amped when we put them on their docks. So you can see why, it's pretty cool. It makes a big difference. I'm gonna show you one more spot because it's pretty incredible what has happened with these hydro sweeps. So you can see here, that's all sand. Isn't that nice? And you can see where hydro sweeps have never been. All these sticks kind of come in. You can't really see it there, but sticks show up. It gets all mucky. Look at that. It's just kind of bog water in here. And when you keep the water moving continuously, it acts just like a normal natural river, which is freaking sweet. So that's what we do. That's what we do when we drive way out here. I have to go to one more cabin. I have to put in two more hydro sweeps and then I suppose we probably better get on the road and get back home because it's gonna get awfully late. It's already seven o'clock. Wow. And we have a three hour drive home and we still have about two to three hours of work left up here. But it's totally worth it because look at this office. It's freaking awesome. I did want to show you one more thing before I went to the next cabin. I couldn't show you this cabin because, well, I don't have their permission and I don't want to just show people's places without them telling me I can but I will show you this so this cabin that I'm at it's on 2,000 acres so that's a lot a lot of land it has a bunch of lakes and has a super cool driveway and that's what I want to show you quick so this here is the driveway and I'm gonna take you on the journey in which you must take to get to the cabin so this legitimately winds through the whole 2,000 acres to get to the cabin and something that's kind of cool about this place and sorry it might be a little bumpy because well this is not a paved oh a paved driveway this cabin actually has so much land that it gets logged on a very regular basis and you can see that there are just ponds throughout the entire thing the the owner of the property actually has a bunch of uh, hunting shacks put up everywhere has a bunch of duck blinds has a bunch of tree stands and it's super cool because we brought up our side-by-side -side a couple of years ago and we just kind of rode all through the trails and all this other stuff which was really really cool the other cool thing about this property and you can see a turkey coming up here on the left gobble gobble there there's a turkey for you you witnessed it um another cool thing is they have a indoor pool up here and i once got stuck up here overnight in a severe thunderstorm and this indoor pool is all glass so i actually got stuck in the indoor pool in the glass indoor pool and had to stay the night and the hail was going on the glass it was the most intense night i've ever been a part of didn't sleep a, a wink i don't know why it was so intense i just felt all alone out here because i was all alone and just looking at all the dark forest with the lightning and a bunch of screen doors i was like oh my gosh this is just this is just a unique situation I'm just giving you stories about being up here because I want you to see this driveway. And as I, as you can tell, this is still the driveway. The driveway is a mile long. If you look out there, you can see hills in the background. You can see a couple of islands in their, in their swamps. And another funny thing was we were out here once 
doing a big job. We were here for two weeks, 10 days, and we had a trailer that was full of stuff. And these roads can get, or I should say this driveway, can get really bad when it gets wet. We actually got our trailer and truck stuck out here for a super long time. And we had to get a couple of trucks to pull us out. We've just had tons of memories on this driveway and this cabin. And it's weird, it's just kind of a part of our lives. And I don't know if you're still entertained looking at this driveway. I know I was just blown away the first time. You can see that's a pathway in there. Sorry, the sun got in your eyes, but they have pathways going through this entire 2,000 acres just to have fun. And I was just blown away the first time I drove down here because I could not believe that this was just someone's house and this was all of their land and this was all of their woods. And an example of their logging here, you can see it on the left. So big tractors actually come in and they just log huge areas of their forests just to, I don't know what they end up using the wood for, but they do this every couple of years and they pick new sections in the the tractors that they use, I know I'm going on a lot of tangents, but the tractors that they use to do that, it's so cool. You just see the, the trees moving in the woods and tractors just pick up these trees, the full tree, and just cuts them at the base and just carries them around. But this is essentially the entire driveway. I'm not gonna show you to the end of the driveway because I don't actually want you to see where it comes out. But yeah, it is super nuts. Another turkey just went by and a couple of deer there are in the woods. Just tons of nature and I don't know, it seems like, I, I feel like it would definitely be a dream someday. It'd definitely be on my bucket list to have a ton of land like this that you can just explore, you can have fun on, and you can just have an endless amount of projects. So I just wanted to show you that before I started to head to the second cabin and before I started heading home. So. I hope you thought that was as cool as I did, but I wanted to share it with you because I know we're in this together and I want you to see what I see. So I'll see you in a little bit. Just finishing up at the second client's house up here and I need to head home, but I want to say one thing. You know, doing this job of landscaping, it doesn't look very flashy. It doesn't seem super cool, but believe it or not, there are some crazy cool things that happen along the way. Today, I just sat there in the driveway and talked to the CEO of a publicly traded company forever. And she was the most down to earth individual in the world. And that's why I love her to death. And just doing these things, it might not be the coolest thing, it might not be the flashiest thing, but the people you meet and the relationships you create and the opportunities you have when you push yourself to do new things, it's a blessing and that's why I do these things. That's why I might drive up here for a day to make someone happy. You know, that's just what we're called to do. That's what gives us purpose. That's what makes us super happy, right? So I just wanted to say thanks for joining me up here. I, I appreciate you taking the time to have a little fun with me and I'll check in with you in about three hours when I'm getting home late. Psych. Thought I was going home, but I decided to just kind of come into this small town, go for a run, I'm trying to lose some weight. Yeah, it's part of some bet that I have going on. But how pretty is this? Man, that's gorgeous. But I have a three and a half hour drive left. So I need to go complete two miles and I need to get home to my wife. I will check in with you when I get home, I promise. I made it home. It's 12 15. I'm ready for bed because we got quite a project in the morning. Yeah, don't worry. I'll share it with all of you guys. I'll bring you with. But a big thanks to all of you for coming with today. I really, truly appreciate it. I would have been so bored without you guys. So, with that, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you, and I'll see you on the next Mason Gang episode.